Pride Tapes NHL ban is a humiliating travesty for the organization. Who would have thought that rainbow-colored tape could cause such a stir? Pride Tape is rainbow-colored athletic tape that encourages equality and inclusivity. Outsports reported earlier this week that the NHL has prohibited its players from using Pride Tape on their sticks, even during practices and warm-ups before games. Players all throughout the league have been using Pride Tape on their stick blades for years as an easy way to demonstrate support and solidarity with the LGBTQ plus community, usually during their team's Pride Night. While not all players have used Pride Tape, those who have are usually praised by the LGBTQ plus community and the larger hockey and sports communities. The NHL, on the other hand, has explicitly forbidden its players from using Pride Tape this season, going against the very rule that says adhesive tape of any color may be wrapped around the stick. The NHL's shameful decision to outlaw Pride Tape is the most recent attempt to appease a vocal and small but critical section of players and fans. A few players' refusal to wear Pride jerseys last season, frequently citing their political or religious religious convictions as justification was the first instance of the problem. Media sources and fans attacked the players, accusing them of being dishonorable, rude, and having sold out. A player named Eric Stahl even asserted that he had never worn a pride jersey before, even though there was video proof to the contrary. Some teams choose not to wear pride shirts at all in reaction to the controversy. After Commissioner Gary Bettman announced in June that the idea of themed jerseys was being abandoned, the league intervened. This covers all specialized jerseys, not just pride but also jerseys honoring black history, hockey fights cancer, and even military appreciation. Appreciation. Teams are still allowed to host theme nights, but in an ill-considered attempt to maintain face following the previous season, a line has been hastily drawn in the sand. It is disheartening to watch the NHL back down so fast rather than deal with the problem. Although they are different from the Pride Tape prohibition, Pride jerseys are related to it. It was already a choice for the players not to wear the themed shirts. Pride Tape was optional, although it was always available to those who desired to use it. With the implementation of this rule, players are no longer able to demonstrate their support for a minority community in the simple way that they formerly could. Although the NHL has stated that players are free to endorse these causes off the rink, there is really no distinction between a player wearing a jersey at the rink and a player dressed in street clothes at a public event or grocery store. Since most NHL players are well known in their local communities, they naturally use their platform to promote causes when they use it to raise awareness of issues outside of the rink. Whether or not he wears skates, a player representing his employers, the team, and the NHL at a Pride March in the summer may or may not be the same one wearing rainbow tape on the ice. Maybe only Pride tape is what some players wish to use.